Hi friends, welcome to your fire element yoga flow to activate and strengthen. I'm so excited to see that you have been practicing and enjoying the previous elemental flow. So here we go with the third one. The fire element in yoga is related with our Manipura chakra, the solar plexus chakra, and it stands for our inner strength, our willpower, our enthusiasm, our personality, and it also governs our digestion. So in today's flow, we want to focus on this area, create some heat from the inside and really feel strong and connected with ourselves. You do not need any special props. You can always use your blocks if you happen to have them at home, but I will show you everything without them. We begin our practice sitting comfortably with the legs crossed, maybe on some support. And we'll start off with a breathing exercise to really get that inner fire, that Agni going. If you happen to be pregnant or you just had a big meal, you can skip this exercise, breathe naturally, and then join in after that. So go ahead and find your comfortable seat. If you wish, you can assume a hand mudra, which again activates the fire element within us. And for that, we bring the ring finger down into the palm and press the tip of the thumb on top of it. So this means we're bringing the sun over the earth and we're creating some warmth in the body. You can rest the backs of the hands on your knees or on your lap, whatever feels comfortable. So your arms and your shoulders may relax. And then go ahead and for a moment, close your eyes down and settle in for your practice. If you prefer to keep the eyes closed and just lower your gaze down to the ground, soften the face and withdraw from the screen for a moment. Feel the body in space. Points of the body that are touching the ground. Sensations and the hands from your hand mudra. And make sure you sit with a tall spine, maybe grow just a little bit more bright, a little bit more alert in your posture. But make sure you soften the face, the jaw, the shoulders. And make sure you allow your abdomen to relax for a moment. We often hold so much tension in this area. So let it soften. Let the breath drop a bit deeper down into the belly. And just sit here for a moment. If you know the forehead shining practice, Kapalbhati, which is often called the breath of fire, even though that's not the translation, you can keep the eyes closed or you can gently blink the eyes open. Sometimes it helps to bring one hand on the belly. We take a deep inhale through the nose, full exhale through the nose, and we take a soft breath in through the nose and exhale forcefully by pulling the navel in. Again, soft inhale. Strong exhale, really throwing the air out. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, pull the belly in, throw the air out. And now we do this rhythmically. So inhale and begin pumping. You can go in your own rhythm and continue to really forcefully exhale through the nose. And the inhale happens very naturally when you relax the abdomen. So engage, engage, engage. Exhaling, exhaling, just a few more. Maybe 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then exhale everything out on your next exhale. Take a full breath in. And a soft breath out. Take a soft breath in. We do a second round. And begin pumping the belly. Go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exhale everything out on the last exhale. Take a full breath in. And only maybe hold the breath at the top just for a moment. Breathe into the calmness, the space. 
and then softly side out. Good. Release the hand mudra. Bring the hands onto the knees and start leaning forward in a half circle as you inhale. And then over the side, lean back as you exhale. Draw the belly in. Feel it being stimulated. So go ahead in these very fluid Sufi circles is how we call them. As if you were dancing around your own center and you can soften the spine a little bit, the shoulders, you can go faster, you can go slower, whatever feels good, but make sure you're relaxing the abdomen as you massage it with this movement. Okay, maybe one more round in this direction and then softly switch it around, circle the other way around. Whenever you feel comfortable and guided enough, you can always close the eyes and focus on the sensations of the body. We'll move gradually faster in this class, but for now, just allow yourself to arrive and your body to warm up, starting to stimulate that fire element in the center. And then slowly come back to the center, sit with a tall spine. Bring the hands rather towards the shins. As you inhale, lift the heart, lift the table and gently curve the back and open the throat. And as you exhale, round the back. I'll show this from the side. Draw the navel in, chin in. Inhale, tilt the pelvis forward, lift the heart, gently curve the back like a cow stretch. And exhale, round the back, pull the shoulder blades apart, draw the navel in. You can roll towards the tailbone one more time. Inhale, sit up, stretch the front body, open up. And exhale, open the back body, stimulate the front. Good. On the inhale, sit up right in a very straight seat. Reach the arms up overhead. And as you exhale, twist to the right side. Your right hand comes behind you, left hand onto the right knee. We stay here, lengthen through the spine as you inhale. And as you exhale, maybe open up the chest just a bit more. One more breath. Inhale here. Exhale, open up. Good. Inhale, bring the arms up above the head one more time. Stretch the spine. And exhale, twist to the opposite side. Stay here, find that length. Exhale, find some space. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Hands back to center and up. Arms release, exhale, over side. Bring the hands underneath the knees. Stand the feet up in front of you. And then as you inhale, lift the heart. Make sure you're sitting with a straight spine. We're leaning back for a boat pose. Bring the, four, the lower legs <clears throat> parallel to the ground. And you can keep the hands here if you want. Or you can extend the arms forward. So the core starts to be really activated. However, we're keeping the face soft. Relax the jaw and keep breathing. Yeah, one more breath here. Yeah, from here, cross the shins, roll over the feet and come onto a tabletop position. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Maybe shuffle along so you find an equal stance here. Tuck the toes under, press the shoulder blades apart and then lift your knees off the ground. Once again, engaging the core, starting to activate the body. Maybe you also feel the thighs. Look down to the ground to keep the neck nice and long. Grab the fingertips into the ground to take a bit of the weight out of the wrists and keep breathing. One more breath here. And then on your exhale, bring the knees down, point the toes, send the hips back for a child's pose. Extend your arms out in front of you. Find some length. Take one grounding breath and make a mental note of this posture. You can always come back into your child's pose when you need to take a rest. On your inhale, come back onto the knees. Tuck the toes under. Send the hips back and up into a downward facing dog on your exhale. Yeah, take a moment to release any tension from the back of the legs. Pedal the heels alternately down towards the ground. Getting rid of any tension. Maybe softly shake out your neck without any rigidity. And then bend the knees a bit more. Press the belly towards the thighs. And lift the low belly in and out. Feel how that lengthens the spine from the inside. Stay connected to your center. On the inhale, roll forward into a high plank. On the exhale, bend the knees, send the hips back up into downward facing dog, long back. We do this only once more. Inhale, roll it forward, think cat-like with the back. And exhale, come back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward into your plank pose. 
Exhale, bring knees, chest, and chin down to the ground. Your hips stay up. Ashtanga Namaskara. On your inhale, roll forward into your cobra, point the toes. And on the exhale, slide your elbows out in front of you for your sphinx pose. Inhale, think a bit, cow stretch, lift the heart higher. Exhale, bring the chin down, draw the navel in and round the upper back, like a cat stretch. Inhale, once again, lift the heart. Exhale, round like a cat stretch. This time also take the low belly off the mat, maybe the hips. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, curl and round. When you press the tops of the feet down, see if you can lift your knees off the ground, round the back. Bring everything back down. Inhale, lift the heart. One more time. Exhale, chin down, round the back. Lift your knees off the ground or at least the hips. Stay here. One breath in. One breath out. Good. Bring the knees back down. Inhale into your sphinx pose. And exhale, release. Slide the hands back underneath the shoulders. Tuck the toes. Inhale, come onto the knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up into the air for a three-legged dog. Exhale, bring your right knee to your right upper arm, shoulders over wrists without stepping through. Back up, three-legged dog. Inhale, long leg, long back. Exhale, across the body, right knee, left upper arm. Really engage the core, move from your center. Inhale, reach your back up. Exhale, knee to chest. We stay. Inhale, pull the knee higher. And exhale, step the foot through. Good. High lunge, stand up, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, twist the upper body to the right. Right arm goes back, left arm goes forward, legs are stable. Inhale, back to center, high lunge. Exhale, twist, really from the core, from the center. One more time, inhale. Exhale, twist. Stay here, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bring the hands together in front of the heart and then bring that left elbow to the outside of your right knee for your twisted high lunge. Open the chest a bit more. Take another full breath in. Full breath out. Look down to the ground for stability. Inhale, reach the arms up high lunge. Exhale, open to the side for your warrior two. Inhale here. Exhale, sit a bit deeper. Inhale, straight in the front leg without pressing through the knee. Exhale, pull yourself forward and down for your triangle pose. Really stack the shoulders. Pretend like you want to stand up so you feel the whole core engaging. One more full breath. Move a bit faster today to create that warmth in the body. Look down to the floor. Inhale, bring the upper body back up. Exhale, warrior two. Peaceful warrior. Inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, windmill the hands down to the ground, back heel goes up. Inhale, step into your plank pose. And this time, exhale, bring the knees down lower in one piece without curving the back, kind of like half chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, activate the back. Exhale, straight ahead, downward facing dog. Left leg, inhale up into the air. Exhale, left knee, left upper arm, shoulders over wrists. Inhale, back up, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee over to the right side across the body. Inhale, back up, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to chest, shoulders over wrist, think cat-like with the back. Inhale, lift the knee higher. And exhale, step the foot through. Strong legs. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, twist the upper body to the left, left arm back, right arm forward. Back to center, inhale, high lunge. Exhale, twist from the navel. One more, inhale, exhale, twist, and then stay here, lengthen the spine as you inhale, and exhale, bring the palms together in front of the heart, bring the right elbow forward and down onto the outside of your left knee, and twist open just a bit more. Try and keep your legs stable, you can always look down for stability. One more breath here, and then look down to the mat. Inhale, high lunge, stand up, look forward, and then open arms and hips to the side, warrior two. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, sit a bit lower, draw the low belly in, it's nice and active. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, straight in the front leg. Exhale, pull yourself forward and down, stack your shoulders, triangle pose. Once again, try not collapsing all the weight into the low arm, but reach up, engage the core, keep the breath flowing. 
One more breath here. And then look down to the floor. Inhale, bring the upper body back up. Exhale, warrior two. Peaceful warrior, inhale. Exhale, windmill the hands down. Release the back heel. Inhale, step into your plank pose. And then exhale, go with the knees, maybe, all the way or half for Chaturanga. Inhale, cobra as before or upward facing dog. Only tops of the feet and hands press down. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Take an inhale here. Side out as you exhale. Inhale, come into tiptoes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. And then inhale, step or hop to the top of the mat for your half forward fold. And on the exhale, fold all the way and draw the navel in. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, reach the right arm up. Bend the left leg a little bit. Lift the heel so you find more space for the twist. Inhale here. Exhale, fold all the way down, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, long back. Exhale, reach the left arm up, release the right heel, bend the leg to twist open. Take an inhale here. And exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, half lift, long back. Exhale, sit the hips back so low that your fingertips stay on the ground. Engage the core a lot. Inhale, come into your chair pose, Utkatasana. And we stay for the exhale. Try and think a tiny cat back and then lower back. Really engage the core. Take an inhale here. Exhale, bring your hands together in front of the heart. We twist to the right side. Left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Lift out of the shoulders, hands together in front of the heart. Your hips stay low. Let's take two breaths here. One more breath, really feel the heat rising up the legs, into the belly. Look down to your right big toe, start shifting the weight onto your right foot, release the left heel. And then once you're ready, take many small steps or one big one all the way to the back of the mat. Now we're here again in the twisted high lunge, you can stay or take a variation with your arms if this is something that feels good for you today. Wherever you are, think inhaling long spine, exhaling, twisting up. One more breath. And then once again, look down to the ground. Inhale, come back up into your high lunge. And then exhale, bring your hands together in front of the heart. Lean forward, draw the belly in. Slowly start shifting your weight and come onto the right leg for your warrior three. Your left toes are pointing down and your core is very stable to keep your spine nice and long. We take another full breath here. Full breath out. And then bring your fingertips down to the ground. Maybe you have blocks or you just bend the standing leg a bit more. Think inhaling, half lift, long back. And exhaling, fold over the standing leg. This can be a little bit. Maybe you also have a lot of space. Option to grab the right ankle with one hand, with the right hand, or maybe even with both. Play with your balance. Or keep the hands down and maybe lift the left leg a bit higher. But focus on drawing the navel in and stimulating the center of the body. One more breath. And then bend both legs, bring the left knee onto the outside of the right ankle. We spiral down to sit in between the heels for our twisted seat. Grab the left arm around the leg, inhale, reach the right arm up. Exhale, twist to the right side. Right fingertips land once again very gently, no leaning onto the hand. Really reach up through the spine and twist the chest open. Good. Two more breaths, inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling, long spine. Exhaling, twisting. Back to center, inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, arms release over side. Bring the fingertips behind you so you can uncross the shins in front of you, or rather cross the shins in front of you, pull the, knee, the heels in, and then roll over the feet and step back into your plank pose. Take an inhale here. Exhale, go into your down dog or flow through one chaturanga with or without the knees. Inhale, choose your back bend, cobra or up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And side out. Inhale, come onto the tiptoes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Inhale, step or hop or walk to the top of the mat for your half forward fold. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, once again, reach the right arm up, release the left heel, twist open. 
inhale here exhale fold all the way down inhale half lift long back exhale left arm reaches up right knee bends for some more space inhale here and exhale fold all the way down half lift inhale hips sit back exhale draw the navel in chair pose utkatasana inhale we stay for the exhale, try and lengthen out that lower back. Inhale here. Exhale, hands together in front of the heart. We twist to the left side, right elbow over to the left knee. And once again, try not to dump into the right shoulder, but lift out of the hands, the chest is broad, hips are low. Two more breaths. Parivrita Utkatasana. Feel the heat rising in the body, the strength. Just practice your willpower. Look down to your left big toe, start shifting the weight once you're ready. The right foot steps all the way back. Stay here, bring the knee down or open the arms for an arm variation if this is accessible and desirable for you today. Whatever feels best. Stay connected to your center, to your breath. Good. And then look down to the ground. Inhale, high lunge, reach the arms up, look forward. Exhale, hands together in front of the heart. Lean forward, draw the navel in. Slowly bring the right foot closer until you can lift off for your warrior three. Your back toes are pointing down. Your chest is nice and open. And you want to keep the ease despite the instability, despite the strength required. Just keep breathing. And if you wobble, that's okay. And if you fall, it's fine. We're just practicing. Bring the fingertips down onto the ground or onto the blocks. Think half forward fold as you inhale. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Any amount is fine. There can be a bend in your standing leg. You can grab the ankle with the left hand only or with both hands or keep the hands on the blocks. But try and have your hips level. Let's take another full breath. And then bend the legs, right knee comes to the outside of the left ankle. We're sitting down back in between the heels for our twisted seat. Right arm hugs around the left leg, left arm reaches up. And then we twist open to the left side, left fingertips come down gently. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, pull the left shoulder back. Good. Keep breathing. Good. One more breath. And then on the inhale, bring the arms back to center. Take a little counter twist on the exhale. And then from here, bring the fingertips behind you once again. Lean onto your bum so you can slide the shins in front of each other. Cross the shins, roll over the feet. Step or hop back if you practice this for your plank pose. Choose to go into your down dog or go through one vinyasa of your choice, with or without the knees. Try not to rush. Find the back bend on the inhale. And then the down dog and the exhale. Good. Take a full breath in. And a releasing breath out. On the inhale, come back to center or rather forward into your plank pose. Exhale, drop your heels to the right side, come into the right hand, side plank, reach the left arm up, really lift the hips nice and high. One breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the left hand down, come back to center, drop the heels to the left side, come onto the left hand, reach the right arm up, side plank, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale, bring the hands down. Inhale here, last breath. Exhale, with or without the knees, slowly lower all the way down onto the belly. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, slide the elbows forward for your Sphinx pose. Now, if your hands are not on the mat, rather slide a bit back like I am. So your hands are on the mat. Good. This time, tuck your toes under. And then once again, inhale, think, back bend, open the heart. Exhale, round the back, draw the navel in. Inhale. Open the chest. Exhale, round, lift the pelvis off the ground. Knees can stay for now. Inhale, lift back up. 
And then exhale around. This time try and lift everything off the ground. Come into a forearm plank. Keep the shoulders nice and broad. Now you can look in between the hands so your neck stays nice and long. We take one more full breath here. And then start bending the knees and walking the feet forward towards your dolphin pose. You want to try and bring the hips over the head as far as you can. And the knees can be bent or rather straight, whatever works. Look to your knees or to your toes so your neck is nice and long. Keep pressing the chest open like you would in a down dog. And just stay and breathe. Two more full breaths. Good. And then bring the knees down to the ground. Point the toes. For a moment, slide back, sit upright onto your heels. And then take your thumbs down into the palms. Curl the other four fingers around. Place these fists onto your low belly, so inside the hip bones before you come forward into your child's pose. Resting the upper body down, resting the forehead down. Now you have these fists kind of grinding into the low belly. And this should feel comfortable. Breathe against this small stimulation here and feel the whole center of the body being massaged allow the shoulders to relax the elbows to relax feel the temperature in the body the temperature in your skin in your face okay one more full breath here And then slowly sit up, right? Release the hands. Sit next to your heels and swing the legs out in front of you. Good. Make sure you're sitting in about center of the mat. Step your feet onto the ground once again. Take your hands into the back of the knees. Lift the heart for your boat pose. Bring the lower legs parallel to the floor. Or if you feel super strong, you can extend the legs. But make sure your spine stays nice and long. Hands, arms are long or hands are in the backs of your knees. Wherever you are, let's take two more full breaths. Try and keep a bit of strength. And then lean back for a half pose, half boat pose. We stay here and breathe and really feel that fire in the center of the body. Maybe there's a little bit of shaking. Maybe the breath becomes harder, but just one more breath. Inhale. And then slowly exhale. Lay down. Take your time. Step your feet onto the ground for a shoulder bridge. Feet are close to the body and about hip distance apart. Press the feet into the ground, maybe the elbows for support, and then lift your pelvis off the mat. Interlace your fingers underneath the body. Draw the shoulder blades in so you can open the chest a bit more. And try and lift the pubic bone up to the navel. We've been doing so much stimulation and strengthening, activating of the center of the core. And now we want to give it a bit of space. Breathe all the way down into the low belly. Two more full breaths. And then come into the tiptoes, release the hands, and slowly vertebra by vertebra, roll your way back down. Take your time. Once the low back has arrived, walk your feet further apart, drop the knees towards each other in the center, maybe place the palms on the upper body, just to take a moment and gather your energy, feel the warmth in the body. Maybe you can feel your heartbeat, or the blood pulsing through the body. Yeah, and then from here, just rest your arms to the side. You can extend them or keep them bent in a right angle shape. And the way your feet are now, just drop your knees from side to side so your low back can relax a little bit. Your groins can relax, your abdomen. Good. And then go ahead from here, bring the knees up to the chest. Grab a hold of the shins, rock a bit from side to side on the lower back. And then maybe lift your head, bring the nose in between the knees, make yourself all small and round. Take another full breath into the belly. And then from here, release, extend your legs out and extend your arms out. We'll take just a few breaths in our final relaxation pose, Shavasana pose. Make sure you allow your legs, your feet to relax, the shoulders to relax, the head to be heavy. Take a deep breath in through your nose. 
And then side out through the mouth. And let go of any tension. Let go of any control. Let go of any concepts. Any analyzing. Just gift yourself this moment to absorb all the benefits of this fire element practice. And know that your body is regenerating and your mind is relaxing as you allow yourself to just be here for a couple of breaths. bring the attention back to the breath and just take some deeper breaths to bring yourself back into this moment and back into the body feel the body in space the contact points to the ground and start moving the body very gently you can circle the wrists the ankles move your fingers and your toes until you feel ready to step your feet onto the ground and roll onto one side. You can keep your eyes closed for a moment or the gaze lowered. Just take a moment to observe how you feel after your fire element asana practice. And then go ahead, press your hands into the ground. Help yourself to come up mindfully into a seated position, kind of as we started our class today with the legs crossed or sitting on the heels. And you can assume the same mudra as we had in the beginning of the class, or maybe you want to place your palms on your abdomen, just feeling the warmth of your palms, feeling the inner heat, expressing some gratitude for the strong body that has moved through all these exercises without evaluating or judging whether this practice was challenging or easy for you today. Simply raveling in gratitude connecting to your center, knowing that you have this inner fire within you and you can achieve anything that you want. And then bring your palms together in front of the heart. Express some gratitude for the teachings, the practice of yoga, all of our teachers, and the opportunity to practice together today. And when you're ready, you can slowly open the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice. I hope you feel nice and warm, activated and strong. I would love to know how you felt about this practice. There will be one more elemental flow, maybe two, coming in the next week. So let's stay connected. Let me know what you would love to practice next and have a look at the description box of the video. I have a teacher training coming up and some beautiful retreats. So make sure to check these offers out and then have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.